started my career at McDonald's when I was 15 years old. I started out uh, on the front counter and I actually worked my way up to be a manager at 17 and then a store manager at 19. I also won assistant manager of the year for Australia um, when I was 19 as well, which was pretty great. It was a really great start into learning how to be a manager, how to manage a team, uh, and it was just a fantastic introduction into the world of working. From there, I worked quite a few different roles, uh, mostly in retail, but I also became a makeup artist as well. And it was when I was working at the Commonwealth Bank that I made the decision that I didn't want to go from place to place and I really wanted to have some direction. So I applied to uni and I went and studied at Bachelor of Creative Industries. Uh, with a major in marketing and international journalism. While I was at uni, I got a, a, a work placement at Netball Queensland and within three weeks, I was the media manager. So I started my career while still at uni. From there, I moved to London um, and worked for Westminster Council for five years in their marketing department. And then when I came home, I've had quite a few roles in marketing, which has landed me here. Well, funnily enough, I was doing my own consulting work. I decided that I wanted to work for myself and I had a few clients when I was approached by Michelle Cox um, to come and help her with the marketing strategy. Um, while I was here, I think I'd been here maybe two weeks, uh, Michelle handed in her resignation and the general manager position became available and the opportunity here for in focus and what we could actually do with the marketing team and the business and where the business was headed made me really excited. So so I put my hand up for the role and here we are. I'm the general manager of marketing for InnoFocus and a typical day varies from day to day. At the moment we have quite a lot of projects on the go because we're setting a lot of the marketing foundations not only for the InnoFocus brand but also for Alpha Fund managers as well. So we're looking at really positioning and focus to the end customer and making sure that everyone knows that they're the most important piece of the puzzle. And with Alpha Fund managers we're doing the same thing. We're actually going to separate them and and launch them that as their own product. On top of all the project work, there's a lot of day-to-day -day activity, proofreading, press releases, checking what the team are sending out um, as EDMs to the network, um, talking to people in the network, um, and working with the other senior leaders in the team to achieve their KPIs and business targets as well, because that's a huge part of what the marketing team does. We're a commercially driven team, and we're actually looking about how we can support the other teams achieve their KPIs and drive revenue into the business as well. I love the people, um, I love my team and I love everyone that supports the team as well. Um, I think it's a really positive environment and I have to say that I, I really love working alongside the senior leaders in the business as well, um, particularly Rod as my line manager. He is probably the smartest person I've ever met and to be able to work with someone like that is a true privilege. I've only been here six months to date, so it's relatively a short amount of time for development. However, I have to say that working with such a, a diverse and smart group of senior leaders has helped me develop. Um, and Rod helps me, uh, you know, every day in developing my skills as well. In my role, developing my team is probably the most important thing when it comes to that question. So for me, it's working out how they'd like to develop their skills, how they'd like to progress their career and how I can actually help them get there as well. In the next five years, ultimately, I'd like to be a CEO. So that's where I'm placing all of my time and effort so that I can develop my skills and actually go down that path. There's one motto that I actually live my life and my work life by, and that is, if you don't ask, you don't get. So I'd really recommend if you're looking for a promotion or you're looking just for anything, make sure you ask. I'm going to nominate Andrew Rocks for announcer. Over to you, Roxy.